So I'm gonna do a response video to Wings of Pegasus who made a, a video actually showing where I made a mistake in my 18 minute video <laughs> where I played Amon, Morissette Amon, Rise Up. Uh, I, I compared the outside bus sound recording to the inside bus recording and apparently I <laughs> played the outside uh, two times. I thought for some reason, I got confused and played the outside video, uh, audio. And then I played the outside audio again, but I, I said, this is the inside audio. And yeah, I, I rarely do any edits. I just press rec and that was an 18 minute video, I believe. So, uh, I want to thank Pegasus for catching that. Uh, yeah. And also I want to say again. I was not trying to go at Wings of Pegasus on that video. I was just saying that uh, I still dis I still think Morissette Amon's uh, vocals on this song is somewhat pitch corrected, and we just disagree, you know. Uh, but I thought, you know, since the outside sound showed so much difference in the pitch in the monitor. Uh, therefore, I came to the conclusion that Peg Pegasus was wrong. But uh, I, I saw his video, and and he is like a sound scientist compared uh, compared to me. I, I I'm not a sound scientist. I just I have a good ear, though. I really do have a good ear for uh, hearing when uh, vocals are uh, not uh, authentic. You know that's. That's why I started doing this because I did reactions and I didn't feel the vocals because I suspected it was pitch corrected, whether it was Dimash uh, or whoever else. And I got flamed for it and therefore I started to do this. But, uh, oh yeah, one thing uh, Pegasus mentioned was uh, that I was getting different results from uh, my uh, playbacks on, on the audio. and. I think I know why that is because I don't know how you do it, Pegasus, but I try to get, you know, I try to play the audio straight through the software itself, but apparently it doesn't allow me to import the sound. It just says invalid uh, wave, uh, whatever, wave uh, format. Uh, whether it's on the phone or on the computer, it still is the, still is the same. So therefore, <clears throat> my only way to do it is I put the speakers on and I, I I point the microphone straight to the speaker and that is how I can actually get it to work. Otherwise, I would have wanted it to to go that way through when you uh, you know just pick the the audio file straight from the software, but it doesn't allow it. I don't know what what it is. But anyways, uh, so yeah, I want to thank you for ca uh, catching that where I actually did do a mistake. Uh, but, uh, and I'm not doubting your expertise here, but I, I actually want to put that into test. I want to try to put this into test. I'm going to, I'm going to record a vocal line. Um, I'm going to pitch correct it. Oh, I'm going to have two of the same vocal line. One that is pitch corrected, one that is not. <clears throat> and then I'm going to record it from my phone, put some, uh, crowd, you know, crowd in there and then uh, put it into the pitch correction uh, software and see if it actually does the thing you say, Pegasus. And I'm not saying you're not right. I just want to actually, I'm like you. I want to see if you are right and if we can actually do this right now, recreate it somehow, uh, then that's what I'm looking for too, you know? Uh, and also, I want to say, Pegasus is is really the only one in this space that I respect because uh, everybody else, you know, they 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 kind of catering to the to the crowd, and I know you, you probably get a lot of flack from cultists from different uh, fan bases. I know I do, so. Yeah. But yeah, you're a way nicer guy than me, uh, so maybe you don't get as much, but I, I, I get like 99% uh, hate mail every day. Uh, 
but I wish I could be like you. Uh, I'm not like you, like in that way. If so, I'm like a mirror. If they're an a hole to me, I will be an a hole back. So, but I wish I could be like you. But uh, anyway, so you, yeah, you're the only one I respect because that you actually you want things to be real, you know. And that's not easy in this field because you will get flamed. So I'm going to record and this is probably the only video that will be semi edited because of the things I need to do. So uh, let's get to it. So I'm going to I'm just I'm going to sing a line from one of my favorite uh, Freddie Mercury solo opera songs called The Golden Boy. And uh, then I'm going to pitch correct that. And then eventually I'll, I'm going to record that from my phone and then get it back in, put some crowd in there and then put it into the crowd uh, monitor software. Okay, let's go. All right, let's try it out. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. Okay. So. Oh yeah. Let me see how. Without auto tune. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. Okay. So that's that's without auto tune. So let's do some auto tune. Let's see how it looks. Let's put on auto tune. I love you for your peace. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. I love. So here we added somewhat of an auto tune right there, but it's still not completely flat. You can see there, it's not completely flat right there and right there. Let me put it to the max. Hold on. For your silence. I love you for your peace. I love you for your silence. I love you for your yeah, there you can start to hear the electronic stuff that is going on. But yeah, it is looking uh, more and more flat for sure. Still not exactly in line. So let me see. I can I can do a screenshot here, I think, and then pull it up uh, quickly. So if I zoom in really much. Hold on, I don't know if you guys see this. So yeah, so this is your, uh, this is my auto tune vocals. And as we can see, it, not even the pitch corrected vocals uh, is exactly flat. So I don't know if this was what you meant, Pegasus, but but obviously, even if it's auto tuned, and this is almost at max, what did I put it on? Put it on. Yeah, 8.8, 4.4, like there's just a little bit more I could do, and then it's maximum. But this is pretty much maximum right there. So I don't know if you can use use that to say, if this is what you meant, by the way. I don't know if you can use that to say that, that it's not pitch corrected just because the lines are not perfect. You know what I mean? Since this is auto-tuned almost to the max, and it's still not exactly uh, flat. And just one more time without the auto tune, which is off right there. Let's see how it looks. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. I love you. 
So yeah, so this is how it looks like, hold on, without any pitch correction, um, as we can see there. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to record this from my phone, add crowd to it and some uh, reverb. And uh, on both the non-pitch corrected version of my vocal and on the pitch corrected version as well. And then I'm going to compare it to the studio version, which is this one of both of the scenarios, non-pitch corrected and pitch corrected. Compare that to the phone recording of the same two recordings. So let's do that. All right, so let's record first the non-pitch corrected uh, vocals. Let's go. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. All right, so that was the non pitch corrected version on the phone. And then we put on the waves tunes thing. All right, now we're going to record the phone pitch corrected version. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. I love All right, that was the pitch corrected version of uh, my vocals. All right, so now I've transferred the recordings of the non pitch corrected and the pitch corrected from my cell phone in here. And I also added some crowd noise like this. So that's going to be playing alongside the phone recordings. And uh, I've also added uh, some reverb, the exact same reverb to the non pitch corrected and the pitch corrected version. So, uh, all right, let's go. So we're going to start off with the non pitch corrected, uh, phone recording. Let's go. Version on the phone. Yeah, I didn't get to hold it, but you could see that it was, yeah, there was some disturbance, but mainly on the, on the vocals, it was mainly pretty much the same, you know, uh, at least I can do it again. Let me, let me see. And this time I'm going to try to hold it. Non pitch corrected. Let's go. Alright, so that was the non. Okay, so here we can see. Uh, and also, I must say also, the vocals is uh, lower than the the first recording that I recorded through Cubase. And just want to add that. That, that might play uh, uh, into also why it's not exactly as the first recording I did of this vocals. Because it's way lower. I could higher it up a little bit. But anyways, we still get to see my vocal lines here. And... We'll need to compare it to to uh, the initial recording, but uh, okay, we got that down. Let's go crowd and the pitch corrected one. All right, now we're gonna record the phone pitch corrected version. 
So yeah, here we can see, here we can see that it's still, the pitch correction still comes through, you know what I mean? Uh, so on the non-pitch corrected one, uh, on the phone, it still was, uh, you know, it was different. So now we're gonna do the same with the initial recording. Uh, which is this one. We, we're just going to add reverb and crowd to it. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. Okay, so that was the pitch correction initial studio recording of the vocals, not the phone. And we can still see, even though it's reverbed, and uh, as you can see here, it got reverb on there, and it got the auto tune on there. So, but it still comes through, right? So let's take away, let's take away, as you can see, I, I don't know, it might be small for you, but when it's yellow, it's not on. So now it's not on. But the reverb is on, so we're going to look at that now in the studio version of the recording. I love you for your silence. I love you for your peace. And there we can see that it, it doesn't seem to make a difference that much with the reverb and the crowd you know but i get what you're saying pegasus like when you talked about the wee -wah, wee -wah, passing through when the you know ambulance sirens yeah it does change sound and frequency and all that but i don't know this apparently shows that in this case it does not matter you know what i mean because i just went through a non-pitch corrected one through the phone, added reverb and crowd to it, and did the same with the pitch correction from the phone, and we still could see pretty much the pitch correction done on the pitch correction phone one. Essentially, we could see everything from either one, from the phones, non-pitch corrected or pitch corrected, and the pitch corrected or non-pitch corrected studio vocals. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, to me, this tells me that uh, this would not make a difference here in this uh, case regarding Morissette Amon and the Rise Up thing. You know what I mean? Now, I would love to hear your take on this. Uh, <laughs> I don't want, you know, like you don't need to, but uh, you know, I just, I think it's interesting. You know, because I think both of us are uh, trying to figure out the truth. I'm not trying to say, oh, you see, uh, Pegasus doesn't know what he's talking about. No, no. But uh, I'm like you. I want to see if it actually uh, is like that or not. So if you like, it will be interesting to hear your uh, thoughts on this. Uh, so again, this is not a, I'm not trying to attack Pegasus. And I'm not trying to be Pegasus. Again, I'm just like a fast food version. Like, I just suspect something. If I react to something, I suspect it might be pitch corrected. I go and put it in the monitor. Or if somebody requests me to check it out, check a vocal out, if it's pitch corrected, I do that too. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it would be cool to hear what, you, what your response is. Peace out, people.